r slash ask credit by redmanditas. What is the pettiest thing you're still holding a grudge over? My best friend and I were going skiing post a night out. Hungover, we decided to get McDonald's breakfast. Both got a combo and he ordered an extra hash brown as well. The bag only came with two hash browns. He ate both and said they forgot mine. No Max. They forgot your extra hash brown. It's been 7 years and I still get mad about it. My grandma threw my graduation cake in the trash because it was already half eaten. Like there was still 3 quarters of a full cake left over, but apparently my grandma doesn't know that you don't need to eat an entire cake in one sitting. I never even got a piece. My sister lied to my parents saying I ate the last two cookies, and I got in trouble for lying to them. This happened when I was 7, I'm 28 now, and I still tell her, and my parents every chance I get, that I'm still mad about that. In 5th grade our teacher only gave homework on Wednesdays. One Wednesday the end of school bell was going to ring soon, and we all realized the teacher had forgotten. With maybe 30 seconds left before the bell would free us, a twatty suck up girl named Sabina raised her hand and reminded the teacher it was homework day. I'm still pissed off about it. F you Sabina for denying us our small victory. I'm 68 years old, by the way, and it still chaps my ass. My 4th grade teacher got mad at me for not being able to tell the blue and purple paint apart. Turns out, the teacher had given me two blobs of blue paint. One time my buddy shot a straw wrapper right into my eye. This was two years ago. Ever since, I take a shot at him anytime he is in my vicinity and I have a straw. However, my aim is terrible. And after two years he is still unaware of my grudge and has not noticed a single one of my attempts. But I will get him. When my parents got divorced, neither of them wanted to keep our family dog that we had for 7 years at that point. I should clarify, there was nothing wrong with her. She was a black lab mix, healthy, was as sweet as can be. I was 14, just going into high school, and I was begging my family to keep her. My sister and her husband wouldn't even take her. We ended up having to give her away, and I sobbed for the entire day. Shortly after, my sister and her husband got a cocker spaniel instead, after telling me they didn't want my dog because, well we don't want any dogs in the house. I honestly should be over it now, 10 years later. She went to a good home. But I'm not. I had cheesecake in my fridge at home from the cheesecake factory. I absolutely love cheesecake from there, more specifically the god of a chocolate one. I was saving it for when I was done with my finals that week because I deserved that freaking cheesecake. My dad was home for whatever reason, saw my cheesecake in the fridge and ate every bit of it. That was almost 4 years ago and I'm still mad. Not me but my brother. He still blames me for deleting his saved game on secretive manner. This is BS, I did not delete it, I did not. I had a barbecue for friends. Whilst inside preparing a feast, my friend's children picked off all my green baby passion fruit and unripe baby lemons to throw at each other. Literally hundreds of fruit wasted. When I came outside and nearly cried and told the kids off, their parents told me they were only playing and just children and to get over it. I'm still not over it. They weren't great friends or parents in hindsight. My brothers got to sit in my barbie blow up chair before me as a kid, and then it popped almost immediately. Still hurts. I'm still pissed they took honey mustard off the sauce menu at McDonald's in Canada about 9 years ago. Look, this didn't even happen to me, but my mom told me about a thanksgiving, where her aunt took the crispy skin off the turkey and threw it in the trash, because it's not healthy for you. I already didn't like this aunt but now. Cracker Jack removed the cool toy and replaced it with some shoddy piece of paper. In elementary school I lent a kid a dollar. He denies ever borrowing money from me. 
Jackass. My sister-in-law got married and had so much so she left over from the party. I told her, I can't wait to munch on some sushi later. The husband threw it away. All of it. I'm thinking of getting a sushi tattooed with the date under because of that. A group of my friends decided to go to our college team bowl game in the 1990s. I bought the tickets. They cancelled and didn't pay me. Fast forward 25 years. I commented on it and she denied it. I went upstairs and showed her the tickets that for some reason I kept. She was mortified. Anyway, that night her boyfriend convinced me to buy Apple stock. We are good, no grudge. Lifetime friends. When I was a kid and my cousin's son was a toddler, he got into my Ninja Turtles action figures and chewed on their weapons. It's been at least 30 years. He lives in another country, so I've only seen him once since. I will always remember him as the little bastard who ruined my Ninja Turtles. 10 years ago my brother took my brownie that I had in the fridge. I don't even like brownies I just didn't want him to have it. He ate it. Now every time I go to his house, I take one of his food items and eat it. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more. Have a nice evening.